everyone. I'm Stephanie Wong here with Warren Barkley, our Senior Director of Product Management for Vertex AI. Today we're going to dive into the fascinating world of video generation and demonstrate what's possible with this technology. So let's dive in. VO is our most advanced video generation model that delivers high quality videos based on text or image prompts. This groundbreaking technology unlocks new possibilities for creative expression and streamlines video production workflows. With the help of VO, you can create an entire ad campaign with stunning videos in no time at all. We're proud to be the first hyperscaler to offer an image to video model. With our AI platform, Vertex AI, it's easy to customize, evaluate performance and deploy VO to production. So, hey Warren, what stands out to you about VO? Hey Stephanie, uh, it's just so many things that make it just easy. You know, you can do the, uh, from a prompt, hey, I want purple squirrels in a cartoon running through the desert and it'll create this short video for you. Or you can take the image of whatever and then animate that image. And I think that that is really, really cool. Um, it has lots of different interesting use cases. So Yeah, so let's go into that a bit. But first I wanna ask about what makes video generation significantly more challenging than image generation and how do we overcome that? Yeah, I mean, I think that the biggest issues are kind of space. And so the ability for you to take something that's flat in a 2D image and then have it move around and so that you almost have a 3D image out of it. And so what you have to do is you have to fill in all the information that you don't have. And so like if I have a picture of uh, the front of uh, a car, I don't know what the side of the car looks like. I don't know what the back of the car looks like. I just know what the front does. So I have to actually infer what the side of the car looks like. And that's a pretty tough thing to do. Um, and so it's really much, much more complicated. It's like uh, creating you know, dozens and dozens of little pictures um, that we use to make the actual video up, so. Yeah, and just for the developer's sake, how does VO on Vertex AI empower them and creators to be more innovative and efficient in their work? Yeah, it's just, uh, it really is just about ease of use. And so the ability for you as a developer to go, hey, you know, I have a content generation platform and I want to be able to have uh, the ability to take, you know, a product shot and I take this product shot, I want to then uh, animate it in some way, move around it in 3D or something like that. You can integrate that right into your ad, uh, you know, platform, your content creation platform uh, really easily. And so it does that. Um, plus, it gives your creators and the people who are building your content um, lots and lots of flexibility to do different interesting things and iterate a ton. And this is one of the things that has been historically hard, which is like, hey, I've got these shots, I've got you know this video, and I can cut it in certain ways. But now I can go, you know what, I want the background different. I want different lighting. I want this these things to be different. And it costs you a minute instead of tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah. So we've been talking a lot about image to video. Why, what kind of use cases did our team envision for this when we started to build this feature? Yeah. I mean, I think that uh, most of the early stuff we did was animating cats because cat videos are cool. Okay. That's probably not the most useful thing to do with it, but um, basically really started in that place of like, how do we actually take flat kind of images and do interesting things with them. And so it makes, it puts them in motion. So that was really the early kind of advent of it after we got through cat videos. So, yeah. <laughs> it all starts with cat videos, right? It does, yes. Yep. Yeah. So I'm really curious because this is so fun to play with. Can you show us some of these features and how they work? Or do you have an example? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to take my dog. Um, his name's Travis. He's a boxer. Um, best dog in the world. Favorite, favorite family member as well, but by the way. Um, but, uh, and I'm just gonna take a picture of him and then I'm gonna um, actually tell the prompt, uh, put a hat on it, uh, put a rainbow hat. So I just type that in, uh, put the prompt and I wait a few moments and it pops out this video. Um, and so super, super easy, super fun. Um, and you can do any number of things with it. So. I love it. It looks pretty realistic and really listened to the prompt quite well. So I'm really excited about this feature and where it's going to go from here, which brings me to sort of our last couple of questions here. I know a lot of people might want some control over the output. So how can we control the output more precisely? Yeah, I mean, one of the cool things is that, you know, instruction following is a lot of what we worked on with the Gemini models. And we took 
that similar technology with uh, VO as well is like making it so you can instruct it very carefully what to do and what not to do. And in fact, in VO, you can actually give it an instruction and say, I do not want this. Um, and so it's not just, hey, I want this in the prompt, but also this is what I don't want. And so that instruction following is a you know powerful tool um, that allows you to kind of control the output of the model. Now, looking into the future, what is your vision for the future of VO and how will it continue to add value for developers and creators in the enterprise space? Bigger, longer, faster, I think is like all the things. So, you know, how I want more seconds of video. That's what's going to happen um, likely next. Um, being able to extend. So one of the interesting things, um, I, I'll give it, you know, some five seconds of video and say, hey, make this 10 seconds. So extending uh, along the line. So taking thematic things like that. And similar to some of the stuff that we did with Imagine that we're releasing with Imagine and some of the cool editing stuff, you know, these stylistic transfers. Hey, I have this style and I want to transfer it to this video. This is a stylistic way that I want to do it. So you more than just being able to tell that in the prompt, but be able to actually feed it input that you could actually make it and say, this is the type of style I'm going for. And so those are the things that um, are likely next um, with VO uh, um, as we kind of continue to iterate on it. Well, this is just the beginning, and we're so excited to see everyone's reactions to VO on Vertex AI. Check it out, everyone, and thanks again, Warren. Thanks, Stephanie. See you later.